Looking good tonight. You feeling good tonight? Yeah. Madam Moderator, Comrade Crystal Tomlinson, Comrade Portia Simpson Miller, former party leader, yeah. officers of the People's National Party. Members of senators, foreign delegates from sister parties overseas, excellencies of the diplomatic corps, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, friends, comrades. First of all, permit me to welcome all of you to this the opening session of the 80th Conference of the People's National Party. We have renewed our tradition of meeting and hearing from visitors from overseas. And tonight, you could call it International Night. We are also, however, meeting at a time when progressive parties and progressive principles all over the world are being assaulted and are facing pressure. Migrants are being targeted once again all over the world and often with ethnic and racist overtones, racist doctrines, which we would have thought had been consigned to the dustbin of history, are again being revived and sometimes by some of the most powerful office holders in the world. In our region, military interventionism is again being suggested and being pushed. The blockade against Cuba, which had been loosened during the previous administration of the United States, is being revived and strengthened once again. Unilaterally imposed trade sanctions are threatening economic dislocation and are affecting us here in Jamaica and elsewhere in the Caribbean and threatening the principles of an open global economy which earned so much progress for small countries and for the world generally. We in the People's National Party have always considered ourselves to be a progressive party, always committed to the principles of universal brotherhood, always committed to the idea of extending rights to all peoples. We consider freedom to be indivisible for all humankind and we consider justice to be universal. Injustice anywhere is a threat to us because we can only survive as a small country when justice flows and covers the earth like the seas cover the earth. We stood with South Africa and we recall with pride that the Norman Manley administration was among the first in the world to ban imports from apartheid South Africa, even before we were independent of British colonialism. 
we defended our rights to an independent foreign policy. We were lackeys of none, small though we were. Jamaica welcomed the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King to our shores at the heights of the civil rights movement and we packed the national stadium because we believe that the rights for every black man and woman were also our rights to be defended. We may be a small country in the scheme of things but the justice of our cause gives us strength. And so today, we stand with the progressive forces all over the world. And we stand in, with the progressive forces in the United States of America who want the best for humanity, regardless of race, regardless of ethnicity. We stand on their side of freedom and respect. It is in this spirit of reviving our tradition of internationalism that we welcome our guest speaker tonight, Bakari Salas. He was the youngest elected official in the United States when he was elected to the South Carolina State Legislature. He, he's on the front line of the major battle luminary in the Democratic Party, and I might say, although he hasn't authorized me to say so, he's a friend of President Barack Obama. And he was a organizer in the campaign that elected Barack Obama to the White House in the United States. He's of the second generation in the struggle, his parents being involved in the civil rights movement. And he's a journalist, although we don't hold that against him, and a commentator and contributor to CNN. But we welcome him tonight as a fellow traveler in the struggle to improve the conditions of people in the world, and especially the poorest people in the world. We welcome him as part of the growing group of humanity that believe in equal rights and justice for all people. He'll be welcomed later on, but again, I want to thank all of you for coming as we reaffirm the place of the People's National Party as part of the progressive movement of the world. God bless you all, and we hope to see you at the rest of conference. I am a mountain, I am a tall tree. 